Bonjour, friend friends, and welcome to the Paris vlog. I'm gonna do a quick room tour for you guys. This is our room here in the La Vallée area. You come in straight away and you notice the decor is super modern, super cool, minimalistic. As you can see, all our stuff is already here because this is the first full day in this area. As you walk through, there's just the bed there. We've got a little side table, chair, vibe. We've also got side table there. This is the view. It's beautiful. So we've got the TV here. And once again, just that really cool minimal table with a stool. Got little Monchim here. Cutie patootie. Monchim comes everywhere with me. His full name is Monkey Chimpanzee, but we call him Monchim. And we'll go this way. The bathroom is quite small. Hi guys! But I think it's enough. It's definitely enough for what you need for just a two night stay. That's the shower. I love this mirror though. It's so good for me when I put my makeup on or when I'm talking to you guys, lighting is fantastic. So this is our room. I think it's perfect for a two night stay. It's walkable distance from La Vallée outlet. I think it's only one train away from Disneyland Paris as well. It is very new and it is just quite modern. I love it. The staff were so friendly. I came in trying to speak a little bit of really bad French and the gentleman was so kind and just immediately spoke English and he cracked jokes with us. He even offered us a welcome drink for free and told us where to go for dinner as well. I would highly, highly recommend this hotel. It's called Hotel Moxie. I'll leave the link in the description below. This is obviously not sponsored. I just want to help you guys if you are coming to Paris and you're wanting to go to La Vallée, Luxury Outlets or Disneyland. I think this is the place to stay. I'm really happy that we are here. Hi friend friends! We've just arrived at La Vallée outlet. I can't wait to check out La Hueve, Prada and all the different stores. So I hope to take you guys along with us and I hope to also spend some money. Let's go! My first item from La Vallée Outlets. Can't wait to show you guys what it is. Let's go spend some more money. I think that's how you pronounce it. I just thought I'd take this opportunity to update you guys on my La Vallée experience so far. So this morning the first place that we visited was Prada and we found a few things. Our goal was to just 
see everything that we wanted to see, like the brands that we really wanted to see, and then reassess what we wanted at the end of the day or at the end of our shopping trip so we could go back to the stores and purchase them. At Prada, Mike saw something and I saw a couple of things and we're going to make our way back there to try them on and see if they fit. We then made our way to Bottega Veneta. There wasn't much at Bottega to be honest. I mean, I'm not really in the market for a new bag anyway, but they didn't have many cassette bags or any popular bags, obviously. So I saw one thing at Bottega as well that I most probably will go back and get. It's kind of different and yeah, I thought I would give it a go. We also went to Celine, which I saw something and I bought it straight away because I've never seen something like it before. So that was my first purchase. We bypassed Gucci because neither Mike nor I are Gucci fans, but I think we'll make our way back there just to have a look-see. We also bypassed stores like Saint Laurent, uh, Givenchy, and Chloe because we're not usually fans of the brand. But since we have time, we might go back and check it out. Maybe they have something interesting in there. We also went to Burberry. It was like the wild, wild west in there with many people like throwing clothes. It was kind of intense, but there were really nice jackets in there. I didn't buy anything from there though. Then lastly, we went to Loewe and I was so excited for Loewe. Mike was excited because sunglasses and jackets and everything else that he likes. But we unfortunately didn't find anything that we really loved. I'll catch up with you guys after our trip once we head back to the hotel. Bye, fun friends. Bonjour, friend friends. I'm in Paris. We arrived yesterday, actually today is our first full day in Paris and it's around four o'clock at the moment. Look, we didn't have the best start, let's say that. We kind of got catfished at our hotel. It's kind of funny to be honest. It said it was a four star hotel. It really is at bare maximum three stars and I couldn't sleep last night. I'm surviving on three hours sleep. But you know what? When you're in a beautiful place like this, I don't think anything really bothers you. I mean, look at this behind me. One thing that I did enjoy last night, for dinner we went to this place called Chez Genou. We will insert some footage here. It is what I would like to call a typical French bistro. We had some mussels. My friend Zane even had an escargot pasta and Mike had some prawns and to end it off we had a massive dollop of chocolate mousse which was deliciously rich and we loved it. We also had a bottle of wine which is like so not us but I really really enjoyed that last night guys. As you can see it's crazy here. Look how many people there are. The Louvre is just there with the pyramid and it's just bustling with so many people. So this morning we woke up and we walked around the area that we are staying at, which is called Les Marais. We had an amazing coffee at Boot Coffee. It was fantastic. We also went to a few stores like Merci and a couple of secondhand stores as well. But I think the thing that really stood out for me today was the Koda Wari Ramen. Holy hell, that was really rich and so delicious. We waited, I would say 45 minutes for a table, but it was worth it. And we had the shoyu sardine ramen. Oh, that was so good. Here's some footage of the aesthetic of the restaurant as well. It was crazy. It was like we were in the middle of Tsukiji market with fish and bags and it was just so vibey. So today we're just going to visit the Louvre. We have tickets for four o'clock and we will just be walking around for a half day and looking at some of the most popular sort of art pieces. I am aware that the Mona Lisa is like this small and the line is like this big, but I'm just really excited to see these in real life. It's been a dream of mine to come to Paris for so long and this is the first time I'm here, so I'm going to absorb everything that I can. I will take you guys with me to the Louvre, so come with me, friend friends, and we can check out some art.
Yeah. If we go this way, it is cabinets of prints and drawings. We need to go up the steps. Yeah, you have to go around, I think. Go up the steps and we'll end up here. Okay, let's go then. Okay. We're actually here at the Louvre on a Friday evening and it's super busy here. crazy you can see <laughs> there's Mike and that's the Mona Lisa there and that's the line all the way here with Zane trying to take a photo you have to line up like that long to take a closer look I think I'm gonna give it a miss today friend friends I know I'll be back at the Louvre as well to see more stuff so I might give the beautiful Mona a miss I'll thank her for her time a little bit of a quick look-see, look-see over here. She cute, I get it. This is breathtaking. Wow. Holy hell. I'm still in awe of the ceilings, friend, friends. Bonjour. one is another popular one we've come to see. It's called Liberty Leading the People. There's Mike, he's so cute. Looking at the coronation, there's Mike there. I really had to zoom out to really get an understanding of how huge. friends today's my birthday and I wasn't really gonna vlog because I wanted to you know just chill and have a good time but I just wanted to share with you my birthday view I can't believe we are here I'm so in awe I'm a tiny bit emotional as well and I'm super grateful for this man over here <laughs> who is currently enjoying a oh my god I don't know what this is it's a cappuccino escargot yeah pastry it's just blowing my mind right now it's incredible everything is blowing my mind right now i'll give it a go oh man yeah. so this is my view guys i can't believe i'm so lucky to have a birthday brunch picnic with this view grateful i'm feeling so grateful Thank you, Zane. Of course, of course. My fingers up your nose. <laughs> Thank you, Zane. 
falafel that we lined up 8,000 years for. It's apparently very delicious. I'm just gonna go in the top stuff first. Great. Now time for a falafel. Oh my god. This is worth it. For sure. Good morning friend friends it is Monday I think it's the fifth day of being in Paris I'm gonna do a quick fit check I'm gonna have a look at Mike first what are you wearing today just gonna be great got a mantle full set nice with the new balance sneakers and of course always wearing a love six hat comfy sneakers yeah Same love thing. six hat and what bag are you carrying oh yeah this is a uh, you see. Looking good, looking good. So, from friends, I'm wearing today my Burberry boots, a low AV pair of cargo pants, my base range long sleeve top, and Bottega. Just a comfy look for shopping today. shop and we were just having a conversation about how crazy it is that wherever Mike goes sunshine it's, always sunshine it's super sunny like it's meant to be autumn here in Paris today was meant to be raining but look at this it's crazy
friends Mike brought me to Holy Belly and this is our food at the moment. Mike's got a savory stack which is pancakes, two eggs and mushrooms and I got myself eggs with sides. I've got scrambled eggs, green salad because gosh I need some greens. I've got a hash brown there and cornbread. I think we're definitely going to have itis after this meal. Let's dig in. So friend friends, this place I think is run by American people. They're so friendly. They're all wearing Halloween makeup and because it's Halloween today. And they're playing Drake's album. Like this place is just a vibe. I highly recommend this place guys. Where are you going, Mesa? Going for coffee, uh, white coffee. I also don't know where I'm going though. Actually, we're going to Dupont first. Oh, we're going to Dupont, okay. You said you wanted to go there, so we are going pastry first mm -hmm. and then coffee after. So friend friends, we're having Mike's favorite ever roulade. Oh my gosh, it's so sticky. Hi Mike. Oh, is this for me? Yeah. Yeah. Cappuccino, caramel. Roulade. We mm. had this on my birthday and Mike was obsessed. I've never tried anything like this at any other boulangerie before. It's so good description. Normally I am not very into stuff which is this sweet. I do love a plain croissant, an almond croissant, escargot. Mm. Just pan or raisin? Yeah, pan or raisin. Very simple. But this one, because we have the bitterness of the coffee and this caramel which is nice and sweet and such a flaky buttery pastry, it just melts. Yeah. I would 1000% recommend Dupont to anyone who is coming to Paris. The staff are so friendly. They gave me a free cannelé on my birthday. They didn't even know me. The staff also speak English. I'm just wonderful. So, mm. I also bought, because my eyes are bigger than my stomach, a pistachio financier. Wow. I love pistachio anyway, but damn. By the reaction, you can tell she's enjoying it. Why is everything so good here? Everything. Not just one or two things, everything. Holy hell. I guess this is why people keep coming back to Paris, or France even. The food is magnificent. Wow. And I'm not even putting this that. on for the camera, like I'm seriously obsessed. I'm gonna eat more of this. Yeah, go for I it. didn't expect the pistachio to be so rich. And it's so like, perfect. To me, it's not only the flavors that are perfect, but it's the textures. Like, literally, there's a baked roasted pistachio on there. It reminds me of suji. Mmm. For all my Eurasians out there, mm. it's a bit like suji cake, but with a French twist. Okay, I'm sure that's painful enough. 